Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on something I didn't think I'd make a video on, but that's okay. So today's video is a request video on getting the Unity files of a game called Pet Pals from Facebook. So what I actually ended up having to do is actually go directly to where the game is hosted to even get the files to download because the way Facebook works. It's a lot easier to do it this way rather than do it the other way um, of emptying your cash and doing all that bullshit to get to it on Facebook. So what we uh, have to do, sorry, I was reading something that caught my eye for just a second. So what you basically have to do is you need to install a tool called Charles Web Debugger, which I have right here. Um, as you can see, it's installed, it's up and running, and there's a few things you have to do beforehand before getting it to run. I don't have Chrome installed on my computer because Chrome is too big of a pain in the ass to even get this working with. I have Firefox because Firefox is superior to Chrome. With that, I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up on Firefox. So once you have Charles installed, and I'm not gonna tell you how to get it or where to get it because um, it is a program you have to pay for, and I'm not going to tell you like how to get it for free or anything because I am not allowed to say I condone piracy. Um, but what you're gonna to wanna to do is first figure out your local IP address by simply going to local IP. And then from there, you need to go to your Firefox settings and you need to go about preferences performance you son of a bitch <laughs> preferences from there scroll all the way down to network settings click settings and then manual proxy configuration and set it to this um, you can get this port information that's the default port but if you need to see what it is I suddenly have a cat hair in my mouth nothing like tasting pussy while you're recording a video um, go to proxy settings and you'll see it right here. So now that we know the port to connect to, you also need the certificate installed on Firefox. So you go help, SSL proxying, save Charles root certificate and save it just wherever. Put it in your documents, on your desktop, whatever. Once you have that saved, go back to Firefox, search certificates, go view, import, find wherever your certificate is and just install it and you're good to go from there. Once you have that, you're going to want to figure out the URL to your game. So the best way to do that is to take Charles, which I'm actually going to put in on my other monitor, but I'll make sure you guys can still see it. So what you're going to want to first do is just open up the game on Facebook and like inspect element to see either if the embed code is there or when you start running Charles, the URLs will start populating in Charles, which you'll see in a second, you'll start seeing the URLs pop up for where data is on the server and be able to figure out the links from there. So what you wanna do is click record and then hit enter. And as you can see, I have the game popping up right here. I have other hosts, which nothing is loading in there yet. And I have this buttl.net thing popping up. And like I said, this is a requested video. I do not condone the playing of Pet Pals because I am not a person that plays these kind of games. They have a get the fuck out folder. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's here. So I will admit this tutorial comes to an early end because I do not know of a way off the top of my head to extract these files. I think you can do it with Unity Asset Manager, but the tool that I use, which is Disunity, does not work with these files. So I can't help you from there to get the files that you need as Unity's, I think, gone through an update and the DLL files are no longer needed since it's WebGL, so it's HTML5 now instead of WebGL. But as you can see, we have the game up here. You can't right click in the game because technically it's a Unity embedded game. We can go like inspect element and see what shit is where and stuff like that, see what the content is. So as you can see, there is like the .NET folder right here and click this and see some links and stuff like that, but nothing that's crazy important. So like ID canvas, it just knows what to put there because of how it's programmed basically. 
and you know you can go to other folders like a debugger and stuff like that you could figure out the URL from here in the debugger too technically because you could go to like basically whatever this is is it's a subfolder so you know that this is but l.net slash pet pals try that in your browser there you have the URL that's another way to get it but on Charles you'll see that I have all this stuff right here and then I have this other hosts so basically what's going on is with but l and these folders they are HTTPS for me to actually see what's going on in here you have to right click these which doesn't show up with folder display you have to right click these and you have to do enable SSL proxying and click focus. That way you only see the stuff that you want to see. From here, you'll see that in build and template data, there's a bunch of files. The ones that you mainly are going to want are going to be like data, um, this unity web thing, which is .code and memory and framework. So. That's basically all the files you need to get the game data files. As you can see right here, it is WebGL 2.0 and 1.0. And these are the files that are needed. And this is the total memory that's needed um, for the game files to load in. So once you have these, you basically just have to figure out how to extract these files. Once you have them extracted, then you'll have the data and the files that you need. And you can actually just do like a map local and when the game sees, or when Charles sees this pop up, you can actually map it locally to whatever saved file you have here. So for example, you wanna go right click, save response. This will save the Unity web file right here. From there, like I said, you can open it up in Unity Asset Manager, try to modify it um, and go from there. So I know I don't have an answer to that right now, but I wanted to at least get the tutorial of how to get the Unity files from unit uh, from the page, the web page, using Charles Web Debugger. There are probably easier ways. I'm probably doing this the hard way, but this is just how I would do it because it's a for sure way to get the files. So I hope you guys at least learned something from the video. I know I don't have the answer for getting the DLL files as it doesn't seem like those exist anymore as it's WebGL, so it's technically HTML5, but this is at least something. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.